Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing the newest launch from Huda Beauty. This is her faux filter concealer. Now this retails for 29 US dollars and you can find it in 29 different shades. I actually purchased three of the shades because I wasn't really sure which one to pick. So I'll be swatching these for you guys and of course based on how the swatches look we will determine which concealer we are going to work with for the day. Now as far as the details for this concealer it is supposed to be a crease proof medium to full coverage concealer with a luminous matte finish that is supposed to last all day long. It's also infused with sweet almond oil as well as vitamin E for the delicate eye area because the skin underneath the eyes is super thin and very, very delicate. Another key feature for this concealer is that it's not going to collect or settle into fine lines. We'll see about that. It's vegan friendly, cruelty free, fragrance free, as well as sweat proof and waterproof and transfer proof. So let's get started. Now, as far as how to use it, you just dab it onto the under eye area and you blend it out with either a makeup brush or a makeup sponge. Now, since this does have a matte finish, I am planning on pairing it with my Becca and Smashbox under eye brightening corrector. I use the shade medium. This corrector pairs really, really well with my matte concealers, my matte finish concealers, um, which is why I'm gonna be using it for today. And I'm only gonna be using it underneath the right side. I'm gonna skip on the corrector for the left side. And that way we can get a really good idea of just how much coverage this new concealer is going to provide. Now let's get into the swatches really quickly before I continue. So I'm going to start off with the lightest shade that I purchased, which is 3.5N. It is Sugar Biscuit. And that's what that one looks like. Next up is 4.3N, which is Cookie Dough. And that's what that one looks like. And last up is 5.1N, which is Caramel Corn. Looks like this. And here's a close-up of the three. I'm gonna wait for these to dry down before I decide on which one I'm gonna use. So while I wait for these to dry down, I'm gonna apply foundation onto the face, color correct the right under eye area, and I will be right back. All right, I am back, foundation is on. This side has been color corrected, and now we can choose which shade to go with. This is what the shades now look like. This one was the lightest, all the way to the deepest. I think that I am actually gonna go with the first shade over on the right side since this side is already color corrected. And that shade was 3.5 N um, Sugar Biscuit. And I think for the left side, I may use a little bit of this one and then use this one on top of it. So like a color corrector. So let's go ahead and get started with the right side, which was 3.5, right? Yes, 3.5 Sugar Biscuit. Just gonna apply a little bit here and right here. I don't think I'll need a lot with this concealer. All right, and then just blending it out using my deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques. All right, there we are. I know this is categorized under medium to like buildable full coverage but look at that i can't see anything through this i mean i do have the color corrector underneath but it looks it looks really good very very concealed over here now let's move on to the left side like i said i'm going to apply a tiny bit of the 5.1 caramel corn shade just because I feel like this would be a pretty good color correcting shade. It's that one right there. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it has kind of like a peachy undertone to me. It's N, so it's supposed to be neutral, but it just looks a little peach, just a little bit peach. So we're going to go ahead and apply it just a tiny dot of that. And then I'm going to blend this out as far back as I can. Oh yeah, that's a really good color correcting shade. If I were to apply this on its own, I think it would be too too deep, a little too orange. But just as a color corrector, it's really good and it doesn't take a whole lot. So now that that's blended, I am gonna go back with the Sugar Biscuit, the 3.5, and just apply a couple dots over here. And blend this side out. So over here on the left, not only are we concealing 
but we are also testing out the buildable claim, right? So there it is. I don't think I'm going to need to set this actually. Um, usually I have a pretty good idea after about like a minute or so of having the concealer on, which this one, this side has definitely been on for about a minute and it doesn't look like it's settling into fine lines or moving around. I think, I think I'll be good without setting it. So let me zoom you guys in so that you can get an up close look at the under eye area after initial application. All right, so here we are. Like I said, I don't think I'll need to set it and look at the coverage. Look at the coverage over here. This is the color corrected side and even the side that we kind of color corrected, right? But not really. That's what it looks like. I'm getting really nice coverage on both sides. All right, so now that you've gotten a nice close up, I'm going to jump off camera one more time in order to finish my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I am back, makeup is done. So far, I really like it. I love the way that this looks. I love the amount of coverage that you get with this particular concealer. I did not have to set it. Very important, I didn't set the under eye area. The only thing that's probably on it, on the concealer itself, is just like the eyeshadow that I use along the lower lash line. But other than that, I did not have to set it. It looks great, it, it, it doesn't look dry, it doesn't look heavy, and look at the coverage. It is insane. Even without a color corrector, look at the coverage. Look at, look, look. I don't see any darkness peeking through on either side. So super excited about that. Let's wear it and see what it looks like throughout the day. It is currently 1145. And of course you guys know, I'm going to be coming back halfway through the day to see what the concealer is doing, see what it looks like under natural lighting and all that good stuff. So I will see you back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. All right, I am back for a quick midday check-in. It is currently 502. So I'm a little over the halfway point, but that's okay. This is what it looks like underneath the eyes. As of right now, I still love it. It is still providing full coverage, as you can see, on both sides, okay? And in my opinion, it does not appear to be heavy. It does not look cakey. It doesn't look excessively dry. It hasn't moved around. It hasn't worn off even, and I did not set it. Remember that guys, I did not set this concealer whatsoever. Still looking really good, but of course, we'll see how we finish off the day. I'll continue to wear it for another three or four hours. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see what this looks like underneath the eyes after a full day of wear. So I'll see you back here in a few more hours for my final check-in. All right, finally back for my end of day check-in. It is currently a 21, which means that I've had this on now for about, I wanna say like nine hours, about nine hours. Now, before I get into what I think about this concealer after wearing it all day, I'm going to zoom you guys in one last time so that you can get a good look underneath the eye area after a full day of wear. So here it is, as a reminder, the right side over here is the side that we color corrected for the day, and the left side, we did not color correct. This is only the concealer. Well, a couple of shades of the concealer, but this is what it looks like after a full day. There it is. I, I think I found a new holy grail. I mean, I am so excited about this concealer. It is so, so nice underneath the eyes. It wears very, very lightweight. I think maybe, perhaps maybe it looks a tiny bit dry and maybe I did lose a tiny, tiny bit of coverage over here, but overall this concealer stayed in place. I was inside, I was outside. We were in the high nineties today. I like, I want to say it felt like over a hundred degrees. Um, and I was, you know, outside picking up waist, doggy waist and sweating, sweating, just, you know, not very comfortable. And it stayed put. It stayed put. It does not appear to have like disappeared. It doesn't look like it broke up. It doesn't look like it moved around. Everything stayed in place. And the fact that you can use this on its own and still get full coverage is like, 
mind blowing to me. I don't feel like you necessarily need to get like a corrector shade. I mean, having a corrector underneath your concealer shade, it always helps. But if you stick with something that's close to your complexion shade, like close to your foundation shade, I feel like you'd get really, really nice coverage with this on your dark circle. So you don't necessarily need a corrector with this one. I think a couple layers of the right shade for your complexion would be perfect. But if you do use a corrector, I mean, look at this. I really love the way that this wore, the amount of coverage that it delivers. Not only that, but it is cruelty-free. It's vegan. It's also fragrance-free, which is a big one. I know that for me, myself in particular, um, depending on like, you know, what's going on, stress levels and all that, if a really high fragrance hits my face, it's like instant migraine. So it's nice to have an option that's not going to linger as far as like the scent. It's a very, very comfortable formula. I, I love it. I really, really love it. I, I don't know. I don't know. This may be my new number one. I still have to test it with other correctors, but wearing it the way that I did today, like when I'm looking for full coverage, this is the one. This is the one that I will be reaching for. I might even be reaching for it over my Tarte Shape Tape. I mean, I really like it. I really like it. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.